Mind you, I'm recording this before I'm going to work, so like this is going to be a little hectic. But hi. How are y'all? today i'm just here to act as a narrator because although yes cutting my hair was a pivotal life turning um stomach churning booty hole clenching experience i did not record a lot especially when there were instances where i was with other people because you know me i don't like making people feel uncomfortable i'm just here to like basically like explain the gaps give you some narration if i already said a point in the video probably not going to say it again but okay, so here we go. Okay, it all started on Sunday, June 25th at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Now, um, I feel like I explained this part pretty well. So therefore, I'm going to see you guys in probably like mid, mid part of the video. Mid part? Yeah, mid. Yeah. Okay. It's going to 2 o'clock in the morning. And I took it upon myself to cut my braids, but not like, cause like, okay, if you're, if you're, if you're black, you know how like, um, when you have like box braids or like whatever, whatever, whatever thing that contains extensions, right? Like you basically know where your natural hair is, so therefore you snip it and then you know you undo the rest of it with a comb. Now I'm not doing that. I choose my own path. And today, right? Well I mean today, tonight. <laughs> well not even tonight. This morning, um I'm going to be like just straight up like cutting it like right there. I already did that with the, um, with, I can't even show it to y'all, but hold on. Okay, let me just, like, get into it because, like, I have to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow morning. Okay, so, let me tell you the story, right? So, one day, I need a mirror. Yeah. Okay, so one day, right? I was not not even one day. Um Friday I was a lot wait. I'm sorry, I just I just realized what I was doing and like I I immediately went for the one in the front. Okay. <laughs> wait, I'm starting to have second thoughts now. Hold on. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. First snip, first snip. This is so bizarre. Okay, let me get into my story. So, um, on Friday, I was, because, like, I already knew I was going to do this, right? This isn't, like, impulsive. I was thinking about doing this for some time now, right? Um, Friday, because today's Sunday, today's Sunday. Friday, um, I was just thinking, I was like, hmm, I might just give myself a quick little undercut, you know, so I'm not, like, you know just straight up jumping into this right so um i gave myself the undercut i think i cut like two not two six i cut six braids in the back so there are like two at the very very back and then the next row up had four so yeah i um i cut it right and like I try to cut it as like short as possible kind of like what I'm well not as short as possible but like kind of like what I'm doing here right and um I slicked it down and then I wrapped it around for scarf and then I went to bed and I am not even gonna sit here a lot of you when I woke up the next morning I forgot that I even did what I did like <laughs> I just like felt the scarf and I was like why do I have a scarf on and then like I took it off and I was like oh 
I cut off my hair extensions along with my hair. Huh. Um, let me go into like the why, right? So, not gonna lie, I kind of like been wanting to cut my hair for a while now, but like, I was thinking about doing it when I go off to college, which in like, um, if I'm going to start estimating the time from when this is going to from when this is being recorded, um, I'm going to college a month and four weeks from now, right? And I like I was really thinking about like doing it then, but then like I have these braids in, um. I had these braids in for like a month, but like I had a really itchy scalp, so like I did. Ew, there's some buildup of that. Um, I did this thing where like basically like I washed my braids, right? But you're like, it was okay. Um, my braids came out clean. Ew, there's some buildup. But like you were seeing like the new growth and like the hair was looking kind of. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't looking that bad because I've I've seen some grown out braids before. Um, but it wasn't looking that bad, but I was just like, ew, like, it was giving, like, I have to wear a hat because, like, my, um, I was about to say my roots as if I'm white, um, <laughs> my hair had grown out so much that, it, well, not so much, but, like, it was, it grown out quite a bit, so, you know, it was looking kind of gross, like, do you see this? Like, yeah, it was looking kind of gross. So, wait, where was I, where was I going with this conversation? <laughs> um, I had a cough. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, um, I wanted to do this for some time now. So, um, yeah, and like the bridge looking old. So I was like, you know what? Why not? I cut it. Well, that's not English. Um, why not cut it? You know now. So. I kind of, I did schedule a date out for this. I'm not doing this impulsively. I did schedule this out. I did think this through. Um, if it turns out I have like a weird ass shaped head or like short hair does not fit me, um, I'm just gonna like wear a wig because it's funny because I literally just bought one. Um, yeah, I literally like just bought one. So if it just doesn't work out, um, I just like wear a wig. Even though like it is literally going to be like 80 like in like the upper 80s this week so I don't know what like wearing a wig would be the best idea even though like it's not glue it's glueless it is glueless but like and also I work with kids so I don't I feel like uh, I'm gonna be really hot but it's okay it's okay I don't know um it doesn't look that bad like so far um I don't know I just really hope I don't have like one of those um like weird weird shaped heads like I really I really hope I don't um that's kind of like all we want to talk about because like it is two in the morning and I'm supposed to be asleep and like my mom could bust in here like at any moment because she's hearing me talking to myself time lapse <laughs> I was also thinking about um probably like watching the idol while I do this but like I kind of want to concentrate and I don't want to like be distracted by terrible acting actually let's talk about the idol real quick um <laughs> so honestly I feel like okay I do follow like a good bunch of um commentary youtubers and I kind of don't like the way they were already like ripping apart the idol and all of the episodes have not come out yet. Like that makes no sense. Like, no, like, no, like, no, like that actually makes no sense. Like I understand like everybody was super pressed, you know, hop on it because you know, like everybody was talking about it, but like, doesn't it, it make, okay, if you're reading a book, for y'all who read because I know a lot of y'all don't read right if you're reading a book and you're like one eighth or actually one sixteenth through the book would you like 
randomly record a book review no you wouldn't like so it kind of like doesn't make sense and also i don't like the way how like they're framing these videos as if like they've watched the entire thing because more than likely they're just talking about one episode like i understand like y'all need to clickbait so people can watch your stuff but like literally why <laughs> got half wow wow this, this feels nice now okay let me talk about like my barbershop experience because um okay so i okay i cut my hair i cut my braids on sunday i i got my hair cut on tuesday now listen right um tuesday was like the first time i ever uh been to a barbershop well like no no that's that's a lie <laughs> um tuesday was the first time i ever like sat in a chair and like actually like got my hair cut so it was an interesting experience um i was charged 30 dollars which and i just gave the dude 27 because like the weird thing is, is that don't men haircuts, especially for that location, don't like male haircuts cost like $20. Why? Because I like, so because I'm a woman, I get charged 30, which and okay, not gonna lie. He did give me um a wash, a condition with, which it, okay, no, no, no. Because what he said, what he said, let me tell you what he said. Mind you, I washed my hair the day before, right? So, like, you know, I already had, like, conditioner in it, all that. And he was like, oh, like, we're going to give you, like, another wash because, like, it looks like your hair needs conditioning. Mind you, I have 4C hair, right? So, I, like, now that I think about it, I'm just like, what do you mean by that? Because that's how my hair is supposed to look. <laughs> Yo, weird. First, like, um, he basically, like, did, like, an all-around little sh I'm terrible. Mind you, I'm not a barber. I'm terrible at, like, explaining, like, what the hell happened, right? But basically, I got, like, an all-around shave, right? And then he basically, like, um, made my hair even, right? Because that was the main thing I was there for, right? He was like, okay, you need a wash. So I got my little wash. Um, I think, like, the uh, shampoo and conditioner was kind of, like, peppermint scent because like not gonna lie i was smelling it um and like yeah he had his like a uh, thick sausage fingers up in my uh little ball little little head it felt nice it felt nice i mean my neck was hurting like being on that sink but it felt nice it was an it was an enjoyable experience it was nice it was nice um and mind you i did this when i was on my break so i did not know like how long it's going to take and not gonna lie i was getting a little bit paranoid because not gonna lie my boss has already spoken to me about coming back to work on time on my breaks i'm i'm not a bad employee i'm good i'm good i'm good so okay um literally like right after the haircut i like went back to work um and like i had like a hat on so like no one really saw it until the next day um and yeah and that's where this clip comes in <sighs> now something in me wants to get like some big ass earrings but um not gonna okay Jeez, there's just so much to unpack. Um, okay, so number one, <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room. My mom, right? Of course, my mom overreacted. She did the absolute most. Um, she like my mom hates it. My mom hates it because well, I feel like the main reason why she hates it is because well, okay, because she says it makes me look like a man, which then okay, great. Now I have to force my feminine energy on you. Great. But 
also like i mean not gonna lie my mom's known me all my life with hair right so i feel like just me randomly not having hair is like <laughs> do i like it um i do i do i had a feeling i had like like a like a like a <laughs> I had a feeling like my head wasn't like super round. I had a feeling. Gosh, that feels so good. Also, I kind of got like a fade in the back, but like I don't like how. Sorry, not me nitpicking, but but like I feel like the fade is a little bit too high up. You know, like it just looks odd. Um, and I feel like I feel like it will look better when it's grown out a little bit more. But like this right now isn't that bad. Like I can live with it. Like it's okay. I mean I can't really do my edges right now, but um it's okay. It's okay. But anyways, let's do like a quick little hair reveal now that like my face is like fully done. I think I finally learned how to do my makeup for my face because bro like i think that's something that like people don't really talk about how like when you cut your hair the way you do your makeup is going to have to change <laughs> like it like the brows you used to do when you had long hair they're not it's not going to cut it. it's not going to cut it so here's the reveal oh yeah i have to probably do this forehead gets bigger <laughs> oh my So I think like one thing that I did is that like I had to actually like start making my brows thinner because um I don't know just thicker brows just were not fitting me as well anymore. Um and not gonna lie, I do feel like my hair will look a little better when it grows out because like I've really been wanting to be doing my edges because just my hair's been looking like kind of plain and like I can't dye it yet. The big chop, I'm not gonna say it's not that serious because like for me it was like, I didn't really see it as, like, that serious, but then when I actually did it and, like, I realized how I felt, not gonna lie, I didn't really, like, feel anything, but, like, um, just, like, being able to actually, like, feel and see my hair texture after, like, years of getting my hair permed, so I never really knew what my hair texture actually was, was, it was... experience check no it wasn't um i mean it was like nice to see like i was like oh that's nice like if you're ever thinking about doing it i mean like <laughs> especially in a day and age where like we just have like just the immediate accessibility to wigs like you should do it and if it doesn't look good because you know mind you like you know no hair does not look good on all people um just like get a wig or like wear a head wrap like it's not that serious and it's like the hair is gonna grow back like <laughs> i mean if you saw my my hair in that clip that was on like what tuesday it is now what it is thursday of the following week when i did the haircut and like my hair is already kind of like growing in like i i <laughs> I just want to do my edges and I can't yet because like my hair is like still too short. Um, and also just like a really quick reminder, um, when you see those cute little, um, pictures of like the girlies, the curly hair girlies with their, um, little like cuts on Pinterest and all that, sometimes you have to remember that these are people with different hair textures. Like, look bro, if, if you have 4C hair, more than likely your hair would not be doing this like it your your 4c hair would not be doing this okay like i mean unless like you do like some chemical treatment but naturally your hair cannot do that right um so keep that in mind don't have like this like romanticized image of like oh this is how my hair is gonna look like because you're gonna cut your hair and gonna be like why do why does it look so like flat but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, follow my instagram follow both of my instagrams follow my art instagram and my um instagram where i choose to be a hottie occasionally um if you don't you're a hater obviously but anyways stay blessed those with a period <laughs>
not gonna lie to say i went overboard is a bit of an understatement like would my mom be happy with how much i spent no because what spent close to 70 dollars but it's okay it'll last for a long time it'll last for a long time it's okay <laughs>